Hey, I'm Chris Berman, coming up on ESPN. Welcome, everybody, to week three of the NFL on ESPN. I'm Chris Berman. We're here to get you set for what should be a good early season test for both of these clubs. Green Bay, Indianapolis. Next! The fans are finding their way to their seats, uh, those who really own those seats, as we get set to begin this exciting game. Hi there, everybody. I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the RCA Dome. And here with me is Mr. Peter O'Keefe. Peter, our game features one of the premier quarterbacks in the league today. Sure enough, Dan. Rodgers is definitely one of the very top quarterbacks in the NFL today. His arm strength is just awesome. Defenses have to stay honest on the deep fades because he can deliver a deep strike at any moment. We'll see how he does once the game begins, Peter. But first, let's go to the coin toss. Tails of these. Number two, kicking off for the Packers. There's the signal, it's and we're ready. Colts football. Crosby boots the opening kickoff. <laughs> Wilkins decides to take it out of the end zone. Shoots. <laughs> Brought down at the 24. And they will start at their own 24-yard line. Matt takes it. First down from the shotgun. Daniels gets the sack way back at the 32. The Packers need only three linemen here to get to the quarterback. Great hit. Oh. Yeah, it makes you wonder what they would have used uh, a fourth line. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Andrew, they force the incompletion and also force a third and long. That's the play. Jackson fields the punt at the 25. <laughs> Rail makes the catch on the right side. <laughs> Jones. Allison first rips down, down the lob, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Rodgers lays this one in beautifully. Got to see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively rendered the people still associate receivers with speed. But right here, height was what did it. Rodgers bombs this one deep. Complete. That would have been a touchdown, but instead the defense comes up big. Rodgers throws this one to the end zone, and it's knocked away from the receiver. Houston wasn't going to let this one slip by. He had his man covered to the T. That's great coverage. Let's check it out. Crosby has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. They're on the 20-yard line. This pass will... Daniels makes the sack just behind the line. Daniels sacks him way back at the 13. That will bring up fourth down. Daniels gets the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push him. Rodgers passes this one after the play action, and the ball is caught at the 30. Number 16 catches the lob. Touchdown! And... Number 16 just tips the ball to himself on this play and makes a terrific reception. At least he made it look entertaining. It's worth a second look. Drive as they start at their own 20 yard line. 
Number 87 makes a nice catch and enjoying the lead 10 to nothing. Daniels sacks him way back at the 32. Number 35 had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Kalber has a report. Susie? Thank you, Dan. After coming off the field with some neck pain, the trainer... Second down and four lineouts in the game. Oh, they're just not getting together. The timing, the catch, the catch is nothing. Number 51 gets the sack way back at fourth down coming up. 51 drops the quarterback deep in the backfield. Yes, and that is a huge loss of yardage. A big feather 43 yard line. <laughs> Rodgers throws a bullet to the flat. <laughs> Valdez makes a tough catch and is First at the 25. <laughs> Rodgers hits some air under this pass touchdown, and it's touchdown. caught for a touchdown. Hey, yeah, baby! I like him. Let's go! Woo! Valdez has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. Here, this drive begins at their own 19-yard line. Daniels sacks him way back at the 10. But Turkey gets. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Nova. Delphi, you know, it's no wonder you were behind you. Deans gets the sack at the 21. It'll be... The Packers are one guy short on the line, but it turns out they don't need him. Three is plenty to get the job done. Check it out. And their lead before halftime. They'll start at their 45. Rodgers really puts some arm behind this one, and it's complete for a... First down, both wide outs to the right. Jones has his number called on first down, and... 93 delivers a punishing blow to the ball carrier there. And he gives up the football for Colts. Need to score here before half to have a chance later. Alexander. Andrew throws a beauty to the Rackers. Fumbled the ball away last time. Let's see if they can hold on to it as they start this drive at their 48-yard line. Roger. Second down with the tight end right. Number 50. Rodgers gets all of his arm. They could massaging it as we speak, but it may take some time before he's ready to go. It's unclear whether he will return. Dan? Rodgers makes the pass and it falls incomplete. But you gotta fight through the smoke and ground one to get rolled back. Third down. Crosby has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. The field That's goal the will the extend their quarter. lead some here in the first half. It's still early, but the momentum is definitely behind them now. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Packers in command of this one, 20 to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and I tell you, first downs have been the story here. The Packers are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Rodgers is back to throw, and look at the finesse he puts on this one. Nice. That set up a 32-yard field goal. The Packers strike first and go up by three. The Packers towards the end of the first quarter, this time at the 17-yard line. Rodgers connected with his man on this one. A 17-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Colts still late in the first. Colts trailing by 10. Number 87 had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. The Packers later in the second. Valdez found a soft spot on the defense, and it worked to his advantage. A 36-yard play that set up a Packer touchdown. Packers winning 17 to nothing. Adams makes him pay. He's running a deep route, and this ball is right where it needs to be. 
The Packers laid into the second quarter, this time at the 35. Rodgers would find his target on this one. That set up a 29-yard field goal, and that's where we'll leave this one. Colts are down at the half, 20 to nothing. Now let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Rodgers has played outstanding. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast. It has now started. The Packers let this bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. They've turned the ball over, but they have survived their mistakes. But you can't survive that kind of sloppy play for long. Yet another shot at scoring and are in command. Their offense takes bounce on the field. Jones gets the call again and heads up. Lewis gets the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push him back, way back. Muhammad attacks him way back at the 24 yard. Muhammad gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, we'll start this first play of the drive at the 39 yard line. This one. Andrew throws a high, long one to the right, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. 13 yards. Rodgers unloads this one to the left. Jones takes it for his eighth cap. Rodgers floats this one out to the right side. The Colts stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 38-yard line. Got a torn hamstring. They're icing the injury in an effort to ease the pain, but it does Number seven throws a big high lob and it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. A nice punch. The Packers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. Jones will get the carry on second. Rodgers rifles this one hard over the middle and it's knocked away from the. Number 50 executes perfect zone coverage on this one. His receiver doesn't have a chance. Check it out. They need to put a drive together and get into the end zone. Number seven. Rifles it out left. Daniel. Daniels gets the set. Number 80. Hard for the defense to stop that play right in its track. You know, Dan, that's what pressure on first and second down. Quarter comeback. Yeah, they needed at least a field goal off that one. Let's just say a comeback is not what you can get, Dan, but they were, they were hoping for more. Rodgers just rifles this down. one and the cat. Number 16 is in man-to-man -man coverage on this play and makes the most of it. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a great catch. That guy. the dart right sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. Half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. Number 41, clearly tugs on the face mask here. You just can't do that and get away with it. Check it out. Yep, there's the flag. Definite face mask. That's a free pass here. Right to his go-to receiver. Number 93 takes him down back at the six. Number 93 keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Oh, that's got to hurt. He's got such a vice-like grip, Peter. It's got to be hard to break out. Jones gets the ball. And... Rodgers lobs it to the left sideline, and it's caught for the score. Adams faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. That's his first touchdown last time out. We'll see what happens as they start this drive at their own. Uh, Peter, everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely great outs in the game. 
Daniel. It's intercepted. Breaks the tackle. Brought down at the 38. Check out the interception here on the replay, Dan. Watch how he reacts to get in the ball's path. Nice. That's how you make the INT, baby. Boy, that was a heads up for the clock. They will start at the 38-yard line. Rodgers throws it deep down the left sideline, and it's complete. House lets the ball carrier get past the markers and a bunch more before he can stop him. There's the push to send him out of bounds, guys. Really had a height advantage on the other. Yeah, and sometimes when you find yourself... Well, if they pass the ball here, watch him to gun it for his favorite receiver. Touchdown! This is a good call here, Dan. These short yardage plays are a lot harder than you think, but on this one, they can 46. Number 87 catches it in the flat and first is known for making those big gallops like that. First down, the clock is stopped. Pulls down the floor. 13 yards to go. Number 87 grabs the fat. Number 7 zips it to the left sideline. This pass will fall pass harmless. Alexander was not fooled by the hook was there. He sticks receiver. close. And forces the incompletion. The That's a great job of covering there. That's incomplete and the... <laughs> Number seven throws a bullet. <laughs> Gets the sack Daniel, and that will force sack. a turnover on downs. <laughs> the Packers took him down with only a three-man rush. The protection was uh, weak at best. Was Offense is on the field and they can wrap up the game. They'll start at their own 20. Over And that is going to do it for this one. The Packers come out on top 34 to nothing. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN Video Games post-game wrap-up. The Packers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. A slow start to the half, but things get heated up midway through the fourth. Rodgers needed to be on target here, and he was. A seven-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers have opened it up and now lead by 27. The Colts on D, Alexander, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Packers, after getting an interception, Packers up by 27. Jones found a little opening, that was all he needed. They've opened it up now, and now lead by 34. Number seven would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Colts losing 34 to nothing. Rodgers connected with his man on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers serve up a blowout, 34 to nothing. Now let's take a sec to chat with our player of the game. The guy who seemed to be all over the field on defense and came up with big play after big play. Daniels is on the sidelines with Susie Culver. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You really hustled today, and your team bulldozed to a runaway victory. What was the key to your success? You know what? This team believes in each other, and we believe in what we're trying to accomplish. Fortune just smiled on us today, and we were able to triumph in the end. Back to you, Chris. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time.
Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. We got a lot of games to cover, so let's get to it. In our first game this week, we had the Bears squeeze out a four-point victory. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. This guy sticks out on this list as one of the more costly injuries. Doctors confirming the worst this week, a torn hamstring. And that'll put him out for 12 weeks. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Martin might be the biggest loss on this list. Tests at the stadium revealed a broken kneecap, so he'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. Number 28 had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Carson threw for 250-plus yards and helped his Eagles beat the Lions. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the 49ers pick up their first win of the year. In the Big Apple, New York, we had the Giants lose by 11. Over at Paul Brown Stadium, we had the Bengals edge their way to a narrow three-point win. Packers, Colts, narrow three. Alexander would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Packers go on to win this by the final score of 34 to nothing. The Falcons went to the air for over 350 yards in their win at the Georgia Dome. The Redskins won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Browns. Joseph stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Lindsey was responsible for over 150 yards rushing and helped his Broncos beat the Chargers. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Jaguars pick up their third win of the season. Saints, Rams. Reynolds, he's split out at the 14-yard line as they look to get six. Makes the move toward the middle. And a nice catch at the back of the end zone for six. The Rams win this one by the final score of 29 to 27. We had a big trade also of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? Over now, it's the news of a trade that might have some ramifications. Williams leaves the Rams and is on the move to the Bears. So he should be a great addition to that defensive line from his slot as an outside pass rusher. In exchange, they'll get someone to beef up their roster. Mac will give him a lift with regards to getting after the quarterback, as his quick first step should be a big asset to this pass rush. And in our final game, we had the Dolphins come away victorious. So that'll just about do it. But before we go, I'm going to toss out a few game balls to my prime time players. Each and every one of these men had a week to remember. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.